I really don't like him math. Uh, but I never had that good interest in maths. Mathematics used to be like a ghost during my school days. Um. Uh, growing up, as a kid, I never really liked math. I was always good at it, but I never really liked it. Mommy, no. Teacher, it's not my thing. It's not good. Don't give me a pen. I'm not a fool. What's your kaduka? The reason why we thought we should have an activity of this kind is to primarily let uh, people of, from all walks of life, mathematics is an activity that touches everybody's lives. It is ubiquitous, it is pervasive, it's uh, important and it is also a lot of fun. It is rigorous and precise, of course, but there is uh, also a nature to mathematics that, that many people think that it is very hard and abstract. And one of the things that we have chosen to do here is to make it more accessible by way of designing activities and, and uh, participative and immersive learning experiences where they can, they can do things and, and, and understand that mathematics is not just a bunch of exotic arcane formulae but, but but intimately related to the world in which we live there was an amazing power of collaboration you know when people from this very distant worlds work come together and work uh, and actually help the process within somebody else's discipline the exhibit was focused on making something interactive so rather than give a mathematics lesson through you know solving numbers or the likes, I want something that could be physically kind of handled with. It was very important for me to make something more interactive than sculpture. <laughs> the structure of this exhibit came out of a tabletop experiment that I had seen about mathematician mathematic professors. Uh, trying to teach this concept of soliton waves. Now, soliton waves themselves is a, quite a vast topic, and one part that was very interesting to me that I wanted to leave my viewer with was that soliton waves constituted one of the seven Millennium Prize problems. So, each of these problems have a million dollar prize attached to them, and they offer the promise of a new field of mathematics if they're researched into. So yeah, the model I made was based off uh, a 1954 woodcut by M.C. Escher called Three Intersecting Planes. And uh, essentially it's a drawing which shows these three planes um, starting from infinity and, and sort of coming towards the viewer in space. And um, they intersect at right angles. And the way it intersects is it forms, um, it forms this perfect equilateral triangle and the point of the intersections is right at the center of this triangle. One of the exhibits I was working on was the Kakiya Needle exhibit. The, the mathematical principle behind it was uh, how you can manual, uh, rotate a needle of a certain height, certain length, uh, in the minimum area possible. So my aim while making the exhibit was how I can actually get uh, people unvoluntarily learning maths even without thinking that they're actually learning maths. 
I wanted them to have fun in the exhibit and not come with a mindset that I'll come, go learn a mathematical concept. But meanwhile, while having fun, learn a mathematical concept. Yeah, maths is definitely fun. Maths is life. There's nothing more fun than maths. We, we shouldn't be saying maths and art. We, we should be saying mathematical or art or, or, or artistic math or something. Because even if you look uh, uh, 400, 500 years ago, Darwin said he was an artist and a mathematician. He revolutionized technology. He revolutionized art as we know it. So I don't think it makes sense to say maths and art. They coexist. started off as a workshop during workshop week and during two, two weeks the students uh, put together the visual planning of the exhibition and now during interim they are uh, putting the final pieces into place so that it can be uh, it will go up as an exhibition on the 22nd. 